Hi, this is Julie. I have a message for Jason today. It's called Sharing Safety. Uh, if you want me to receive a message for you, I am going to share a link in the description, so just check there. Okay, so this is Sharing Safety. Nothing causes anything else. There is no actual separate cause and effect. Thus, there is no blame. But as a kind solution to the illusion you have made, there is a kind cause and effect to perceive. When the cause and effect you perceive seems harsh, this is the fantasy you have made from thought. Spirit supplies its loving thought as cause, and then you experience the loving effect. It is very simple. When the cause of your experience is ego thought, it feels harsh. When the cause of your experience is spirit thought, you feel supported and loved. The resource you choose as cause is always up to you, and this becomes more obvious as you practice. While you still perceive time, you will still perceive cause and effect, so it's important to get your cause right. The only real cause is that which is real. If you are finding cause in any separate component of the world you are imagining, the effect is also imaginary. When you look to the whole for the cause of your experience and your state of being, you are guided through and out of what you have ma imagined by what is real. As long as you are looking to individual components of your fantasy world as cause, you are keeping yourself locked in fantasy. The wonderful thing about this is that you are the only one who can keep yourself locked up. You can always decide to stop. It's safe to allow love to extend through the illusion to you as you. You are love, and so are all you see as else. It's safe to drop the costumes now. There is no need to hold a fearful illusion in place over what is just love behind it. All the tension and stress you feel is the effort to hold your fantasy world of trouble and danger in place. Let go of this ancient effort and all is revealed as it actually is. Watch your thoughts. Your thoughts are always building the world of fantasy or allowing the light to shine right through it, making all things beautiful and harmless. You experience your fantasy, your hallucination, and you do have the benign and loving power to allow it to become transparent. The power you have is held equally by all, and it is the only real power there is. Ego tells you that you are particularly safe or unsafe. You may be safe while others are unsafe, Ego says. You may be unsafe due to particular components in this dream you are making with thought, Ego says. Spirit always shows you that safety is the light shining at the core of whatever or whomever you look upon. Spirit guides you to focus on this light and as you focus here, the light expands. As the light of safety expands, it becomes obvious to you that everything you invented before was only a fever dream. It's safe to continue to focus upon this light. Your safety is forever inner present, and you never have to seek it in or from the external. You can always allow safety to extend through all forms that seem to be outer because that safety is you in and as the self you share with all eternally. Your self is ever present everywhere and it is never unsafe. See this beautiful self in all things and beings and you will see how safe and loved they are. If you listen to ego's dramatic thoughts about the drama you invented, your inner state will shift dramatically back and forth or will just feel vaguely unstable. As you learn to listen to spirit's thoughts, your state of mind stays steady, and you are never far from the awareness of how much you and all, all are loved forever. Not because of any form that seems to be present in a dream, but because of what you and all are now and forever. You always have everything you need, 
and we are glad to see this awareness dawn on you. As it does, you can see how well equipped and supported all beings are forever, and you can rest. Thank you to Jason for inspiring this message, and thanks to everyone for listening.